off the coast of Brazil. Shrouded in mist and legend lies a place both alluring and terrifying. This is Ilha da Queimada Grande, a realm of enigma and danger. The island is inhabited by venomous snakes, creatures of myth and nightmare. It harbors a unique and perilous ecosystem, a testament to nature's might and the delicate balance of life. Snake Island harbors an extraordinary concentration of venomous snakes. Thousands of snakes inhabit this small island, making it one of the densest snake populations globally. Among them is the Golden Lancehead Viper, a creature that strikes fear into the hearts of even the most seasoned herpetologists. This critically endangered viper, found only on Snake Island, possesses a venom of remarkable potency. The Golden Lancehead's venom is a hemotoxic cocktail capable of causing rapid tissue necrosis and organ failure. A single bite can be fatal and stories abound of the viper's lethal efficiency. The isolation of Snake Island has allowed the Golden Lancehead to evolve into a highly specialised predator, perfectly adapted to its environment. It is a creature of both beauty and peril, a symbol of the island's unique and fragile ecosystem. Snake Island, a mere speck on the vast canvas of the Atlantic Ocean, lies approximately 90 miles off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil. This isolated island, measuring just over 100 acres, is a world unto itself shaped by its seclusion and the relentless forces of nature. Its shores, a tapestry of jagged cliffs and rocky coves, rise dramatically from the sea, forming a natural barrier against the outside world. The journey to Snake Island is not for the faint of heart. Strong currents and treacherous waters surround the island, making landing a perilous endeavour. Those who dare to approach are met with a sight both awe-inspiring and intimidating. The island's isolation has allowed nature to flourish, undisturbed by human interference, but this seclusion has also given rise to a unique and deadly ecosystem. The history of Snake Island mirrors the turbulent seas that surround it. Once part of an ancient landmass, the island was connected to the mainland millions of years ago. Rising sea levels gradually isolated Snake Island, creating a sanctuary for its unique inhabitants. Cut off from the mainland, these creatures embarked on unique evolutionary journeys, adapting to the island's specific conditions. The island's topography reveals the powerful forces that have shaped it over time. Erosion has sculpted deep ravines and dramatic rock formations, crafting a landscape both beautiful and unforgiving. The island's interior is a dense, verdant jungle, a tangled mass of vegetation thriving in the humid, tropical climate. This dense vegetation offers ample cover for the island's most infamous residents, snakes. Section 3. A Sea of Green from above, Snake Island is a lush expanse of green teeming with life. The dense rainforest covers the island, its canopy a blend of emerald and jade hues. Towering trees rooted in rocky soil stretch skyward, vying for sunlight. Underneath this green canopy, a world of shadows and secrets exists. The island's flora showcases the resilience of nature. Trees, vines and ferns weave together, creating a living labyrinth that shelters a diverse array of plant life. Orchids with their vibrant blooms cling to tree trunks, while bromeliads with their water-holding leaves provide habitats for insects and amphibians. This verdant vegetation sets the stage for a delicate and deadly ecosystem. Section 1, a slithering paradise. This island is their sanctuary. Each step could lead to an unexpected encounter. A multitude of snakes inhabit this confined space. They reign supreme in this environment. The golden lance head, for instance, is an expert ambush predator. For birds, the island is a perilous trap. Section 2, the golden menace. Among the serpents of Snake Island, the Golden Lancehead Viper stands out. This snake, with its golden scales and sleek muscular body, is both beautiful and deadly. The Golden Lancehead is unique to the island, found nowhere else on Earth. Its isolation has led to the development of distinct traits, including its potent venom. 
The venom of the golden lance head is a complex mix of toxins designed to subdue prey swiftly. Hemotoxins in the venom attack the circulatory system, causing severe internal bleeding. The venom also contains neurotoxins, which target the nervous system, leading to paralysis. The golden lance head's bite is extremely painful and without prompt medical attention can be fatal within hours. The Golden Lancehead Viper, though notorious, is just one part of Snake Island's intricate ecosystem. The island hosts a surprising variety of life, from insects and amphibians to birds and reptiles. Each species contributes uniquely to the ecosystem's balance. Birds, attracted by the island's insect population, are key prey for the Golden Lancehead and other snakes. These birds also pollinate plants and disperse seeds, aiding in the growth of the island's vegetation. Insects are essential for decomposition and nutrient cycling, breaking down organic matter and enriching the soil. The venomous snakes help control prey populations, preventing overgrazing and ensuring the ecosystem remains healthy. The golden lancehead viper, despite its fearsome reputation, is a creature of remarkable adaptation. Its venom, while deadly to humans, is a testament to the power of natural selection. Isolated on Snake Island, the Golden Lancehead evolved venom potent enough to subdue its primary prey birds. The venom's rapid action ensures that prey does not escape, a crucial adaptation in an environment where food is scarce and competition is fierce. The Golden Lancehead's camouflage is another example of its remarkable adaptation to its environment. Its golden scales, while striking to the human eye, blend seamlessly with the dappled sunlight and fallen leaves of the forest floor. This natural camouflage allows the golden lancehead to ambush prey and avoid detection by potential predators. Its body shape, slender and agile, is perfectly suited for navigating the island's dense undergrowth. For centuries, Snake Island remained a mystery, untouched by human hands. Its fearsome reputation, passed down through generations, kept most people at bay. The island's isolation and treacherous waters served as natural deterrents, reinforcing its mystique. Only the bravest, or perhaps the most foolhardy, dared to venture onto its shores. Despite its isolation, whispers of human presence on Snake Island did emerge from time to time. Local legends spoke of fishermen seeking shelter from storms or driven off course, making landfall on the island. Their tales, often fragmented and steeped in fear, told of close encounters with venomous snakes. Most of these stories ended in tragedy, adding to the island's sinister reputation. In the early 20th century, human presence on Snake Island became more established. A lighthouse was erected on the island's highest point, serving as a crucial guide for ships navigating the perilous waters. Lighthouse keepers were appointed to maintain the light and ensure maritime safety. Their life on Snake Island was marked by isolation and constant danger. Surrounded by venomous snakes and cut off from the mainland, they lived in perpetual vigilance. Numerous stories recount the lighthouse keepers' encounters with the island's snakes, highlighting their narrow escapes and the omnipresent threat. Eventually, the lighthouse keepers abandoned the island, seeking safety and a more secure life elsewhere. As technology advanced, the need for a manned lighthouse on Snake Island diminished. The lighthouse was automated, its beam now controlled by machines rather than human hands. With the departure of the last lighthouse keeper, Snake Island was effectively reclaimed by nature. The island once again became the exclusive domain of the snakes and the other creatures that had adapted to its unique ecosystem. Today, the lighthouse stands as a silent sentinel a reminder of a time when humans dared to challenge the island's dominion. Its weathered walls bear witness to the relentless forces of nature and the island's enduring isolation. The lighthouse serves as a poignant symbol of human ambition and the ultimate futility of trying to tame the wild. Recognizing the unique and fragile nature of Snake Island, the Brazilian government took steps to protect it. 
In the 1980s, Snake Island was declared a protected area, off limits to the public. Landing on the island is strictly prohibited, and only authorised researchers granted special permission from the Brazilian Navy are allowed to set foot on its shores. The Brazilian Navy, tasked with enforcing the island's protected status, conducts regular patrols of the surrounding waters. Their presence serves as a deterrent to unauthorised landings and helps to safeguard the island's unique ecosystem. The ban on public access, while seemingly extreme, is a necessary measure to protect both humans and the island's delicate balance. But While Snake Island might be off-limits to the casual visitor, its isolation has transformed it into a scientific sanctuary. For researchers, the island represents a unique opportunity to study evolution in action. The island's snakes, particularly the golden lancehead viper, have become a subject of intense fascination for biologists and herpetologists. Their venom, their behaviour, even their very existence, hold clues to the processes that shape life on Earth. Scientific expeditions to the island are carefully controlled and infrequent. Researchers, equipped with protective gear and a deep respect for the island's dangers, work tirelessly to collect data and unravel the mysteries of this unique ecosystem. Their work focuses on understanding the golden lancehead's venom, its potential medicinal applications, and the snake's evolutionary journey. Every expedition yields valuable insights adding to our knowledge of this remarkable species and the forces that shaped its destiny. The venom of the golden lancehead, while deadly, also holds the potential for healing. Researchers are delving into the venom's unique properties and their potential applications in medicine. Certain compounds within the venom show promise for developing new treatments for various health conditions. Notably, research on a related viper's venom led to the creation of captopril, a medication for high blood pressure. This discovery underscores the potential of snake venom as a source of innovative pharmaceuticals. Continued research into the golden lancehead's venom could yield new treatments for heart disease, stroke and even cancer. The island, once feared for its deadly inhabitants, could one day be celebrated for its contributions to human health. The story of Snake Island is a powerful reminder that humans are but one species among many. It underscores the importance of respecting the natural world and recognising the inherent value of all living things. The island's isolation presents unique challenges for study, yet this very isolation has allowed its ecosystem to thrive. The Brazilian government's protective measures highlight the shift from ownership to guardianship in conservation. Recognising that some places are best left undisturbed, the island remains free from human interference. It stands as a beacon of hope, symbolising nature's enduring power and the critical need to preserve Earth's biodiversity for future generations. Snake Island stands as a testament to nature's raw power and the intricate balance of ecosystems, a realm apart where evolution has crafted extraordinary and formidable beings. The island's venomous residents inspire awe and highlight life's incredible adaptability. The golden lancehead viper, with its lethal venom and exceptional camouflage, epitomizes the island's untamed splendor. The tale of Snake Island transcends the mere presence of snakes and their venom. It emphasizes the importance of respecting nature's boundaries. The Brazilian government's initiative to safeguard Snake Island designating it as a sanctuary for scientific study and a symbol of conservation stands as a beacon of hope. Snake Island imparts a crucial lesson, teaching that genuine conservation is rooted in respect and understanding.